Math 1332, Chapter 7, Consumer Mathematics, Section 1, Percents. Video 6, Word Problems Involving Percents, Three Examples. Example number one, about 9.2% of all registered nurses in the United States are men. The average hospital has 349 registered nurses. How many would likely be male? Now, this is the, give me one second to start my timer. This is the type of problem that people panic about. Oh no, words, math is hard, et cetera, et cetera. But to be honest with you, many word problems are very easy to slice through because the trick for doing a word problem is to make it not a word problem. To be honest with you, most of the words in a word problem are inconsequential when it comes to how to solve it. It's the interpretation of the results where the context is a little bit more important. To make my point, let's take a look at this one and see what we're really being asked to find by pruning a lot of the words. 9.2%. Well, you know what? We really don't need the word about. I'm gonna cover up some words. They'll be highlighted, but I'm really kind of covering them up. I don't wanna make them completely disappear. 9.2% of all registered nurses, but we're told that the average hospital has 349 registered nurses. So instead of saying of all registered nurses, let's just say 9.2% of 349 registered nurses. And then we basically are being asked to find that. So really, if you boil it down, all we're being asked to do is to answer the question. 9.2 percent of 349 is what? Now, by stripping it down, I'm taking out the context, but I made the problem a lot more easier to digest. Now, we currently have two ways to handle this. We can use setup number one or setup number two. If we use setup number one, We're going to change of to times and is to equals. Let's see what that would look like. Of becomes times, is becomes equals. If we have a number, we bring it down, 349. If that number is a percentage, we change it to a decimal by moving the decimal two places to the left. That would give us 0.092. Remember, when you're moving the decimal to the left, if there's only one digit, append a zero in front so that you can move one more place. And then we don't know what the is number is, so that's what the X is going to be. Well, that's good because the X is already by itself. The only thing that remains now is to multiply uh, 0 0.092 times 349. 0 0.092 times 349 is 32.108. But does that make sense in the context? Mathematically speaking, it's the correct value, but contextually, this represents uh, male nurses in this hospital, and we can't have a decimal number of male nurses. So the reasonable answer would be to round this, and the answer is about 32 male nurses. Now, this is if you had chosen to use setup number one. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of setup number two, but I'll quickly show you what it would look like. And then I challenge you or I invite you to solve it on your own to show that it gives the same answer. For setup number two, we would set up a proportion where we'd put the percent 9.2 over 100, put the is number which we don't know on top, put the of number, which we do know on the bottom, cross multiply and solve. And if we do that, we're gonna get the same answer, 32.108, which rounds to 32. So this one wasn't too bad. Once you extracted the key elements of the word problem and got here, because then it was pretty straightforward. Let's take a look at example two. 
a refrigerator has this a regular price of $1,249 at store A and $1,908, excuse me, $1,319 at store B. Store A is offering 15% off, store B is offering 20% off, which is the better buy. All right, so this isn't, this isn't that uncommon of, uncommon of a scenario, especially if you're a smart shopper and do your homework, because with all the information you can find online, you can really find discounts and you may have to actually figure out which is the better buy. So we're gonna start with store A. And let's think about what it is we need to do. For store A, the regular price is 1,249, but it's 15% off. So we actually need to do two things. We need to figure out how much we're gonna take off and then subtract it. So the first thing we need to do is figure out 15% of the price, 1,249. We need to answer the question, 15% of 1,249 is what? Let's approach this using the proportion method, which is putting the percent 15 over 100, putting the is number on top, which we don't know, and the of number on the bottom, 1,249. I'll leave it as a exercise for the viewer to cross multiply and then solve. But if we do that, I'll call out the moves that I'm doing, 15 times 1,249. That will eventually get divided by 100 and we get 1,000, excuse me, 187.35. Now these are dollar amounts, but is that the price of the refrigerator? It is not, it is the price of the discount. So in this problem is a follow-up move because the discount price is the original price. So the discount price is the original price, $1,249 minus 15% of it, which is $187.35. And that is equal to, 1,249 minus 187.35, $1,061.65. $1,061.65. Had we set up the equation and solved it, we would have gotten the, the same thing for the discount price. In other words, had we said 0 0.15 times 1249 is equal to X, we would have gotten the same value for X, subtracted it from the price and gotten a discounted price of $1,061.65. Store B is a little bit easier to calculate because we know exactly how much they're taking off. $1,319 minus the $200 is $1,119. So even though Store B is offering $200 off, the 15% discount at store A will bring the price lower, so you should go with store A. Example three, a real estate agent receives an 8% commission on all home sales. How expensive was a home if she received a commission of $5,850? Uh, some of you may work on commission, so you know how that works. You sell a certain dollar amount of a product, you calculate a percent of that, and that's how much you get paid on commission. In this case, the agent is receiving an 8% commission and they are getting $5,850. So how would we rewrite this problem using as few words as possible? 8% of what is $5,850? If we were to solve it using the equation, we would say 0 0.08 times X, since I don't know the what number, equals 5,850. Don't need the decimal zero, zero there since we're not worried about context right now, just the number. And then to solve for X, we would divide by 0 0.08. And let's see what we get. 5,850 divided by 0 0.08. 73,125. Which can't get you a lot of house depending upon where you buy it. Um, and if we had chosen to do the proportion method, we know the percent is eight, so we would have eight over 100 
the is number is 5,850. The of number is what we don't know, that would be x. If we cross multiply, we would get 8x on one side, and it's easy to multiply by 100. We just have to put on two more zeros. And so x would be 585,000 divided by eight, which is gonna give us the same answer. So when you see a word problem, don't panic. See if you can shrink it down to as few words as possible. And specifically, see if you can shrink it down to the phrase, some percent of some number equals some number, uh, a percent of B equals C, if you will, where two of the numbers are known and the third one is the one that you need to find. Just choose your plan of attack and you should be all right.